In this video we are going to create this as an answer to a couple questions which are How to clone external meshes, I mean cloning models loaded from GLB in GLTF files And the second question is how to animate multiple models at the same time Having said that, we'll merge the code I authored it in two of my previous tutorials The first part is from the tutorial how to subdivide a plane into even squares in 3GS in which I show you how to subdivide a plane and create objects on top of hovered squares The second part is from a tutorial named how to export 3D models with their animation from Blender In this one I explained how to animate a single loaded model from a GLTF file using what it's called a mixer in 3GS I'll leave you the links to both tutorials in the description below in case you'll need more detailed explanation on something I didn't focus on in this video One final thing before we jump into the code editor I want to give credit to the creator of the model we are going to use in this tutorial It's a website called quaternias.com which is full of entire collections of free amazing 3D models I highly suggest you check them out as you can see we have the animated model added to the scene without any positioning and also the divided plane which means that I just combined the code of both projects, nothing more So this is how the code base of this project looks like currently Now I'll comment out everything related to animation and just focus on the cloning part and I'll also scale down the size of the model so it matches the size of a tile So what we are going to do is to set the model in a global variable and make a copy from it when a mouse click event is detected Next we'll remove this line because we want to add objects on click only This is the part where we created the yellow mesh which is used as the reference from which we created copies and since we are not going to use it anymore let's get rid of it Next we'll call clone but on the global variables tag Until now everything makes sense so if we look at the result everything should be working fine Well it doesn't As you see we have the model strangely placed at the center of the scene with their horns having some rotation and floating animation So let's get rid of the animation maybe it is the source of the problem And no, the problem persists So what's happening here and what's the cause of this model distortion? The answer is simple, the clone method doesn't work on loaded models like it does on built-in meshes How do we solve this then? Well, thankfully there is a special clone method that we can use but we'll need to import a module to be able to use it, so let's do that The name of the module we are going to import is Skeleton Utils Next, we are simply going to call clone from skeleton utils and pass the global variable we created earlier as an argument, and that's it. Now let's uncomment the animation code and see what will happen As you see no animation is taking place and that's because we are animating the original loaded model only and that animation is not inherited from it by the clones So if we bring back this line you see that the stack at the middle which is the original one is animated but the others are not to fix that we simply need to create a mixer for every clone This is not something specific to this case It's a general rule Every model or a copy of a loaded model needs to have its own mixer So what we are going to do here is to comment back this line Next we'll create a global variable in which we are going to store the animations 
I'll get rid of this one because we'll use that same identifier. Next, we'll take all of this animation code and paste it in the click event listener callback function. Then we are going to link a new mixer to the created clone and same as we did with objects, we'll create another array that will hold the mixers of all the clones. So here whenever a clone is created, a mixer is created as well and it gets added to the mixers array. Next we'll call for each on that array and call update on every element. Now the first tag has an active animation but the others don't. They do actually, so if we look closely I'm not sure if you can see it but they have a very slow animation going on. And that comes from the clock get delta being called more than once in every frame while it should be called only once. So to solve that problem we are going to create a variable outside the for each callback function and then pass it down to the update method and that should be it. And there we go, now we can create multiple copies of our model and they are all animated correctly. And that's it for this video, so make sure to like and subscribe and I will see you in the next one.